Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie here, Eddie Makes Art, and uh, we're continuing with our boho style journal. And in the last video, I showed you this cover, and then I made another cover um, to go with another uh, journal that I'm doing. Um, and this one I'm doing with the e-papery DigiKit Inkling of Spring. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set of papers and ephemera designed by Aaron at um, ePapery. And um, it is just, just beautiful, beautiful work. And it features this mandala, or mandala, however you pronounce it, that she created herself, that she designed. It's really, really beautiful. It's, it's like the, the running theme. Um, but I thought it would be a great... Um, would make a great boho themed journal. And so I'm working with my buddies, uh, Julian, Julie Torrens, excuse me, and uh, Paula Keen. And um, Tracy has just joined in too, and she's making her bo a boho style journal too. So um, if you wanna see more behind the scenes of what we're doing and, and how we're going about it, um, you can check us out. We're uh, part of a group on Facebook called um, makers of mixed media art and artists and it's run by pm artist studio and um it's a private group just a couple questions to get in but it's a lot of fun there's a lot of creative stuff going on um there's a lot of smart people in there meaning you know like very uh experienced and there's people who are just starting out so there's all sorts of levels of of artistic um, experience, let's say. And so, um, you know, the, the knowledge pool is, 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 is huge. It's very deep. And I'm very appreciative of, of everyone there. Everyone's so, so supportive and um, kind and generous, um, but also informative um, and they critique but in a very constructive way. So um, I'll link all that info down below and I'm gonna go and we're gonna start uh, today just doing some, um, getting some ephemera ready. And um, I went ahead and these, I just wanna show you this. So I showed you these in the last video and these are these are part of the ephemera pack that you get um, with the e-papery, um, ephemera pack kit it's 12 pages um and then there's another kit that's the main kit and that's the one with the 12 pages um like this these are the 12 um signature pages okay and so you get that and then when you you download the ephemera kit that one is 12 sheets also but it includes three writing pages and you'll see here this is one of the writing pages, and we have another one in here too, this. Um, so these are tucks that came in there, and I thought they'd look really cool in here. So you got one on the front cover and inside the back cover. And then I've taken the signature, the pages that we glued together, that I glued together, and then just, um, I set them under some heavy books to dry, and they got nice and dry, and then just folded them over and I ran a bone folder over the edge just, you know, just once. Nothing too hard. Uh, you don't want to tear up the paper, so. But it gives you a nice uh, flat book. And so let's just flip through the pages how we set them up. And I, this is, uh, Julie will recognize this. Um, she sent me some of these in Happy Mail. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to include it here in the journal as a little pocket, right? And then the other side, when you flip it over, I cut the sliver off the bottom of the, of the bag. So you have another pocket there. Okay. So that's going to get sewn into the journal. Um, once we get all the pages, you know, done up, this is the center. So you open the center, you get this beautiful spread and then we'll flip. We continue, we have our bag, our writing paper. Now this is some glue. Unfortunately, I um, I got a little glue on there, but we have stuff we can fix that with. There we go, and then this is the last section here. So 
writing space. And then we have our, our kitty, Miss Murphy. So, all right, let's put this to the side. I have already went ahead and glued some, glued the tags down to the coffee paper, coffee dye paper. And um, I did this one completely just to show you what my, my thinking, what, what I did, what I want to do. Um, so I took the tag, I glued it down onto some coffee dyed paper, and I have a basket of like coffee dyed scraps of different types of paper. So uh, it says, you know, using up my scraps. And then I just glued the rest, but I inked it with the um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Faded Jeans. Because I think it looks really good with this whole um, digital kit. All right, so let's just cut up the rest and ink them up, and then we'll move on to the larger tags and um, talk about what we want to put on the back of those. And now I like these because they're not going to be too thick, so they won't really, you know, bulk up the journal so much. Because we're already getting bulk from the pages because, you know, we glued them together. Um, so I want to keep it, you know, relatively um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I don't want to overstuff this one. Okay. All right. And yeah, this is, we got to trim that a little bit there. And so for the larger tags, um, I don't know, I thought maybe we could do, um, because we have some leftover um, pages from the kit, what I thought maybe we could do is glue some of that. I'm having the worst time with this, aren't I? We could um, glue some of those pages, or, you know, part of them, on the back of the tags and then add some um, blank paper you know, two, so there's a little bit of writing space, but there's also, you know, images and, and such. So that's my thinking. Sorry if I sound crazy today. I am tired. And when I get tired, I don't communicate very well. But uh, I think you get my point. And so you see the point I made in the last video about um, not cut, cutting the little edges off before you glue it down to a backing um, page because it makes it easier to trim around okay, or to glue down really and then you just trim it out. Okay. Apparently I can't talk and cut at the same time. Here we go. Yeah, just get a little bit here. I am, I was just thinking, I'm out of coffee dyed paper. This is all I have is the, um, the stash I have here in the little basket. So maybe I will um, dye up some coffee paper and show you how I do it. There's a couple of ways, but you know, it's not difficult. Let's just say that. <laughs> It's not a difficult task to do. Let me get some of this out of the way. I hope you are all doing well. Hope you're getting ready for spring and cleaning up the yards. Wow, that's really bad, Eddie. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let me just try and clean this up. There we go. Wow. All right, and then this bit here because it's all wonky. All right, that's that's gonna do it. I don't want to cut anymore because I'll just ruin it. All right, I'm gonna leave this over. This happened to be a happy accident. I had stamped. I was practicing uh, this stamp, well, testing it out on the paper and um, it ended up on the back of the tag. I thought it was cool. Do your own thing. So that is serendipity for sure. 
Oh, we still have this one. Haha. <laughs> It's a gloomy day here today in Boston. It's kind of quiet, but it's nice. Unless the cars with the super loud music decide to uh, drive by. I don't get that. You play music so loud, your car vibrates. H how do you, like, how do you even hear it? I mean... I don't get it. No, earlier, I think it was sometime last year, there was a car drove by and the music was so loud, the bass was so heavy. My house was shaking, the walls were shaking. I started shaking and then I got nauseous from that loud, you know, like the bass was so strong. Um, it made me sick. And, I mean, that's a real thing. Um, I'm like, you know, they got to do something about this. This noise pollution. And, frankly, they don't even play good music. And when it's so loud, you can't understand what the hell it is either. Uh, I guess people like showing off, huh? I don't know what the fine is now, but when I lived in New York City, I think it was $250 fine um, if you uh, violated the noise ordinance. Um, and I'm sure it's gone up since, since I've lived there. Um, but yeah, I think we need that here. It's, it's just... It gets out of hand, especially when the, the uh, summer rolls around. Oh boy, does it get wild. And like, it's not just at night, it's, it's, they start early in the day. Okay. Otherwise, it's, it's very pleasant here. We have a, a beautiful pond called Jamaica Pond. And it's part of um, this large grouping of parks and waterways and walkways. Um, it's like a green area and they call it the Emerald Necklace because they're all connected in some way. Um, and it's just, it's wonderful. They've been um, sprucing it up the last few years, you know, really trying to um, get some of the natural uh, flora growing back and um, making it more accessible, yeah, just making it more beautiful and um, environmentally conscious. But it's fun, it's a great place. Um, just go and hang out. I used to go there and walk around the pond like once every day. And it's about a mile and a quarter all around so I do that once and then walk back home which is another like I want to say like 10 blocks maybe maybe a little bit more um but it's you know it's definitely good exercise and there's always beautiful birds there and then uh, they've got turtles and that you know little ones you see on the at the edge of the water it's pretty cool now, it's not a pond that you go swimming in. This is definitely not that kind of pond. But they do have boats you can rent. And I've done it before, and it's so much fun. You just go out and paddle and just hang out in the, out in the lake, and nobody be bothering you. It's pretty cool. Lake. I, I say lake. It's, it's a pond. Um, but, yeah. It's fun. I'm all about green spaces and trees. Like they really need to plant more trees in some of these cities. And the reason, you know, you get heat waves and people get sick in certain places 
certain cities is because the government hasn't has taken out all the trees there's no trees you know and trees are what give you the coverage the shade to keep the the air cool you know keep you cool i don't know am i done i'm not done see i talk too much and then i forget what i'm doing but let's just ink these up and we'll move right along and i think yeah we'll do the big tags next and then maybe what we'll do is we'll go through the book and figure out where we want to put um, our pockets. I'll glue those in. Get that all scored away. Yeah. I'm just basically right now with these darker uh, shades, I'm just kind of like just going over the edge because um, of the white and just getting rid of that stark white paper. Um, but on the back, I'll give it a nice inking. And again, I'm using the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink in uh, Faded Jeans. Faded Jeans. Oops. I once purchased a $600 pair of jeans. And they were the best fitting things I've ever owned. Mind you, my job at the time afforded me to be able to do that. Um, I still have them. I, I don't fit in them, but I still have them because I don't want to throw them away. Because that was a big investment. And who knows? Maybe one day I'll fit back into them. Okay. Tags are ready to go. And then these guys, let's find some images to go on the back. Cover the ink so it doesn't dry. Okay, so we have our, our um, snowdrop flower background. And the two shades. I mean, we could do that, but it's that's just too matchy-matchy, I think. Now this might be cute. You could put that like like that, and so you get the accent of your mandalas, and then some writing space. And then we can, you know, later on add some other stuff. Right now, I'm just trying to back these and get them ready for um, decorating. You know, we can maybe do some holes in those. But I want to get everything backed and um, ready for us to use. Okay. So I'm just gonna glue this down to this page and, um, and then we'll cut it out once it's dry. Got my glue book, there's my stick. Got my glue stick. I'm using Scotch Create glue stick in permanent. And it's a great little, great little glue stick. And just make sure you get your edges first so you don't miss those because that's when you get your paper pulling apart is when you forget your to get some good coverage of glue on the edges all right this one's ready Ooh, come on come on come on why not today not today come on oh boy you really are just being difficult okay let's go here If you're wondering, this is just like a, you know, those credit card offers you get and they send you like a fake one, plastic one. That's what this is. But you can use like, you know, your grocery store rewards card or um, hotel key card, that type of thing. That'll work. Oh, I'm bummed. Well, okay. We can always work that into our design later if we wish to. And then for... The bluebirds, I love this. Bluebird, maybe we'll contrast it with this. Maybe a 
I love this design. So I think what I'm going to do is do that. Get that on there. Okay, so that's that. So we want to glue right here. All right, we're going. Got a nice clip here. Getting stuff done. What are you guys working on? Working on any projects or artwork or anything? You know, I'd be interested to know. And for those of you who leave comments, I thank you so much. I really appreciate them. I try to respond to all of them. And if I've missed you, uh, it's not on purpose, trust me. I am just, you know, I start doing something and then I get distracted by something shiny. And then, you know, I forget that I'm looking at comments and then I go do this. And then, you know, by the end of it, I'm like on the fifth thing. Just a little squirrely, what can I say? All right, so that, yeah, that's gonna look really cool there. And then this guy, let's brighten him up. And we're gonna do, let's do this one on the back. See, we're going, we're going at a nice clip here. That's okay. After this, we'll flip the page, or tear it out. And just to let you know, I've never done a journal with just using a digi kit. I've done a journal where I use like part of one, um, but it wasn't the focus. So um, this is my first journal that has, it's just a, using a digi kit. And the reason is because I saw this one, I said, I, I gotta get this one. This one is a stunner. And um, yeah, so that's how I ended up here. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna present it. And then, you know, my buddies Julie and, and um, Paula, you know, had their idea of, of doing boho journals. And I said, you know what? This is a good style for that. So I said, yeah, let me jump in on that one. And we'll, and we'll, um, Use this kit, and uh, it'll be awesome. All right, uh, I'm gonna go this way first. Okay. Hmm. I do need to get these scissors. Something with them, they're too squeaky. I mean, they're, they're nice and sharp, they cut well, but it's a little too squeaky for me. Yeah, not a very good cutting job, Eddie. I'm just gonna try and trim this just a hair, there we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but my cat's snoring. <laughs> She's very loud. Oh boy, uh, that looks good. Yeah. Uh, her name's Max. There's a blue jay in the neighborhood. There's a couple. Um, but every once in a while, one of them will come and sit on the porch railing, which I can look out onto from where I'm sitting, and just sits there, hangs out. And it's gorgeous. It's, it's a, you know, it's just beautiful. And I never can get to my camera fast enough to get a picture. We haven't had him in a while, or um, haven't had it in a while, but we had a woodpecker right across the street in the tree 
in my neighbor's yard and oh my god that sucker would peck all day but i haven't heard him in a while maybe he's on vacation in a warmer climate okay that looks so good right so let's set these over here and i'm going to put these under something too so they get um so they can flatten out I know I have plenty of stuff, but what I want, I don't know. Well, I can do that later. I'm not going to worry about that. Either. This one is ready to go. Yeah, good choice. Good contrast. Okay, well, I got a couple of books over here. I'm gonna set these under. Okay. And then these really don't need to be flat, and they're pretty flat. They're pretty good. Okay. I'll just do these larger tags. Save these. And then we'll bring the book out. Let's um, let's get some pockets in there. Now, certainly, I can use. You know, I'm going to use the pockets that are provided, but I can also make my own pockets if I want. You know, but I'm going to going to stick with this with the stuff in the kit first, and then go from there. And then we have two envelopes, which um, we can glue. So let's pull that out. We'll set this aside. Ooh, let me cover my glue stick. Don't want that to dry. Okay. Let's make some room. All right, so you know what we could do is, why don't we glue these in first? In the front and the back, and we'll get those out of the way. I think those are super cute. Let's see it. Oh, such a great design. And let's give it a little inky poo. And then, um, so this one will go like this. Now, mind. The spine. We don't want to set it so close that it's going to um, interfere with where we're going to stitch. So this is where the stitching is going to go. So I want to put it here. So just to the right of that E. Okay. And I'm going to use just art glitter glue with the fine tip point. I love this glue because it dries quickly to the right of the E. All right, so now we have a, a nice tuck there. And then let's get this one inked up and we'll uh, put her down too. Wow, she's getting loud. Okay, nice little bead of glue there. Get a little bit more here. Okay, now this one will go on to the left of the E. And that'll give us nice uh, spacing away from the spine. But still, oh, geez but still plenty of room to tuck stuff in. All right, this one is not behaving. I don't know why. Let's give this another go. Okay. All right. Now 
easy peasy. Okay, so I love how that looks already. Mm, nice yummy cover. All right, so this is the first page to our signature. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on here. I think it's just the beautiful way it is. Um, I don't know, for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And then I thought, since we have the writing page here, we could do, maybe we could do one of the pockets here. I have, let's see, we have this pocket. We have the one with mandal on it. That would look cute there. Um, oops, come on. I shouldn't have used paper clips, but it's all I had, and I didn't want to, I want to keep my camera. Oh, here's the issue. I'm done with that one. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do, let's just do this pocket here. This one's a little trimming, not too much. Now these guys, you fold them in, right along that blue line, as evenly as you can. And this, this is what you're gonna glue. You're gonna glue these tabs to the page, and then just the bottom, okay? But what that will do is it'll allow the pocket to expand a little bit. So you can get your stuff in there. Oh, you gotta ink them. And mainly, you know, I know it's dark, but it's it's really to get the white off the edges. Beautiful. And so let's get one of our tags. So there you go. See? Beautiful pocket. No muss, no fuss. All right. I don't think I'm going to put anything on here, at least for now, as far as, you know, pockets. So let's keep keeping on. And we have this angle pocket and then this one. Okay. And then a little tiny. Um, Bluebird, or what do you call those? Okay, I can't, I can't even remember. So we have this pocket here, but maybe on this one, hmm, we do that one. Or do we do it here? You know, let's go to the next one here. I think here. We'll do this here. Okay. Oops, geez. Take it easy, take it easy. All right, let's ink you up. Oops. Yeah, the hands aren't working today either. Everything's just falling out. This guy, this came like this, comes like this, and then what you do is just, again, just fold down the flaps, and you're just going to glue these edges. And that's it. And don't go too close to the edge, just, you know, a little bit. And then 
you have a second to kind of adjust your positioning a little bit. Oh, did I forget the edge? I don't No, I don't need the edge. Okay, I just need this to stick. Okay, perfect. And so I'll just take this envelope and see if you put that in there. Plenty, plenty of room. All right. Where else can we put this pockets? I think definitely. We do this one because we do this one here. And do this one here. Although I kind of like it on here. Hmm. I think we're going to do this one here and then maybe this one here. Just kind of there. Or is that too many pockets together? Let's go back through. Okay. We have that. We do the bluebird here. Let's do that. Let's do the um, the blue jay here. And that way, we're not putting pockets and pockets and pockets all together. Kind of just divvying them up throughout the signature. <clears throat> little glue there, little glue here, and a little glue down there. And again, keep in mind the um, close to the, sp uh, you don't want to go too close to the spine and, and bulk up that area. Just come down and just leave a bit more. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Okay. And then for the final pocket. You know what, I'm gonna do it here. I do like that. I like that. Decision made. And this has a, the, like kind of the celestial, the, the astronomy stuff in the background. The same stuff that's on the, the inside cover page of the book. This whole vibe. Mm -hmm. A little more ink. Let's grunge it up just a little bit more. Okay. And then uh, just gotta glue it down. We're good. Good, there we go. Come on, stay still. All right. All right, so we have our pockets in. How easy was that? Very cool. And what else do we have? We have our journal cards, some other stuff. Um, what if? You know what? We could glue these down too. These, this would be cute, like right there. We could give that page a little color. Let's do that. I think this one, I'll, I'll use the, the glue stick. Yeah. Oops. 
slippity slidey. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that feels good, not thick, nice. All right, so we have our little, our blue jay down here with his umbrella, Ella Ella. And then this cute pocket here, and then we have this guy here. Or should we put that here? So if we put that here, there we go. I like that better, if that makes sense. And then maybe I need something to go here. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Let's see. So we have our tags there. Mandalets and hmm, we could make this a side tuck pocket where this is closed on these three sides or glued and then we can put our tag in here. Hmm. Or, or what about one of these? Because one of these would fit in here, but that's kind of... Hmm. You got to think these things through and, you know, we'll figure it out eventually. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners. Okay, we'll ink it up and then we can always, hmm, and if we took one of these and we can make another pocket there, we could use half a mandala. We could do something like that. get this one glued down and then we can figure out what else we want on there. Uh, for this one I'm going to use the seven corner punch and this is just a, um, a corner punch with the three sides rounded edge. This is the four, seven, and the ten. And we're using the seven today. That's what I don't like about these things sometimes is they have a mind of their own and they just do like a weird punch out. Okay. Set this to the side here. And um, ink. That's what I was looking for. Think of the word. And again, I know it's dark paper, but I'm just trying to get rid of, rid of the white edge there. Do, 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 do. This glue I don't need. We can close you. Do you. 
And so we're just gluing the top and the bottom. And I think, yeah, I have it upside down. <laughs> so it's going to go this way. All right. So do the top. And then the bottom. Let's see if we can somewhat center it. Hmm. I'm going to notch a little circle here before we do this or glue it down because I think it needs it. Oops. And let's just do a quick ink. Okay. See, sometimes you get those ideas and you're in the middle of putting down another one. All right. So now. We have a little side pocket here. Now that's not, yeah, that'll fit in there. Okay, cool. Now we can also do journal cards in here. So let's see, we a journal card here. That'll fit. Huh? That'll work. This will work too. We just gotta trim it down. That one. This one, it's kind of cool. That, or even, you know, have it this way. So we can play with that idea. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave this, the video at this point. Um, and then the next video, we can do some more decorating. All right, thanks for watching and um, all the items used will be listed in the description below, as well as all the other information. And um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.